Hey, how's it going? Z-Man Tech here. I want to thank you for tuning in to Snowy Games. As always, I appreciate you very much. And today, we're taking a look at X Zodiac, courtesy of Miles from Pixel Jam. Much love and respect, and a huge shout out. Thank you for uh, reaching out to me via key mailer to uh, check out this game and showcase on the channel. Without much further ado, we're going to go ahead and hop in. And you know how I do when we first start. We check out the options, see what we got. Okay, we have control setup, display setup, and sound setup. Okay, inverting is uh, disabled, thank goodness. <laughs> but I mean, some, some folks like that, you know, for uh, 3D uh, space shooter kind of games. And uh, basically, this game is kind of made in the likeness and homage of uh, the original Star Fox. So I'm very excited to check this out. Um, yeah, super excited. Okay, looks like our window size is yeah, kind of uh, automatic here, but that's fine. We can change things if you need to. But we're going to get it popping here. Alright, let's get it going. Left to right, select mission. Okay, looks like we can only do uh, Allure right now. So, go ahead and hop in with that. All right, the forest of Allure <clears throat> are under attack. Find out who's responsible and put an end to the destruction before it's too late. Good luck. Okay. All right. And you know how we uh, pretty much do for these games, you know. Uh, we go ahead and take a look at them for about 15 minutes or so, 15 to 20 minutes, give you an idea of what to expect. And uh, if you want to see more, you already know what to do. Drop it down in the comments. Let me know. But until then, let's get it, let's get it going here. Hey boss, tap the fire button to shoot your blasters. Okay, look. I'm trying to read and play at the same time. I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> Leave that up for y'all. Oh. Oh man. Oh this this feels a lot like Star Fox. This is crazy. Boosting is uh, the Y button there. So the buttons are actually mapped the same too. This is pretty dope. Looks like we have uh, bombs as well, but I'm going to save those until we get to the boss. I just, I kind of wish the triggers were the, uh, the barrel roll. Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, we can break with that button too. Okay, so every all the buttons are exactly the same. That's Star Fox. I don't trust that. Oh, that might have been a, a checkpoint, and I totally blew past it. <laughs> Repair our laser. We're going for the laser. So the cool thing is, you know, I could definitely, I could always uh, map the buttons. To make it to the triggers, you know, not a big deal. But it does feel a little more responsive to uh, to use the uh, shoulder buttons. I'm just using a new controller at the moment. Um, well, it's new to me. <laughs> it's one of the uh, one of the Steel Series controllers for PC here. <clears throat> Definitely need some help, it looks like here. So hopefully we can find some of that soon. Oh, really? <laughs> Repair, let's go. That's what they are. So, now that I know what they look like and what all they do, we'll be sure to do that. I love the effect of the boost too. Like a really, really good sense of speed, especially for a rail shooter. Whoa. Oh, dang. This is actually really cool. Oh, dang. Oh! Oh, 
if I hit him or not. I don't think I did. That bomb. Oh. This is this is some really good game design for uh, for boss battles of this of this type of game. Not sure where to shoot him. I think it's the tail. I don't want to lose this twin laser. <laughs> ah. Come on, buddy. Don't make it hard for me. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, pretty sweet. I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Very, very well done job on capturing that essence of the original Star Fox. Man, that's that's amazing. Looks like we got an asteroid field level coming up soon, so I'm definitely eager to see that. Alright. Usually high levels of seismic activity have been detected on the planet's surface. We suspect Zodiac is behind this, so proceed with caution. Be careful. Okay. That's the only thing. It's like it's a little hard to read and play at the same time. <laughs> um, so I would say, I guess it, it would help to uh, kind of take the Star Fox 64 approach and uh, uh, and have them actually talking, uh, or you know, get some get some voice acting, which I know is not cheap, but uh, you know, I think that would just help a little bit. I mean, I know they're definitely trying to capture more of the SNES version which didn't really have voice acting either, so just something to uh, just throw it out there, you know, just as a gamer slash consumer. <laughs> ah. I'm definitely losing a lot of health here, so much quicker than I expected in this game, so but then again, you know, I know Star Fox on, on the SNES, like the back of my hand for the most part, so I'm a lot more comfortable with that. But the more I play this, I'm pretty sure I'll uh, definitely uh, get to that point. Love those. We love those. Oh. bombs but yeah super fun to play I love I'm loving it loving it so far I was initially trying to use the d-pad at first and uh, it looks like it wasn't uh, supported by default um, I have to check and see in the uh, control settings if it's possible to change it but using the joystick isn't bad though you know you definitely get more precision so I'm not used to playing the SNES uh, Star Fox with a joystick, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Really good music, too. Loving the music. Definitely feels 90s esque.
Uh oh, my gosh. Hit on there. All right, got him. Just gotta finish him off. I'm out of bombs. Uh, that's not too bad, though. I think we can do this. <clears throat> okay. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> pretty nice man this, this is really good like this is for those for those original fans you know those longtime fans of the SNES uh, Star Fox you, you would love this like it feels wonderful it's like as, a, as if the game was you know um, uh, enhanced in a way you know to where it's like actually you know 60 frames per second as opposed to whatever that frame rate was <laughs> on Super Nintendo it, it was pretty low but um yeah. All right, let's go here. Excited to see these, uh, what looks to be asteroids here. All right, the remains of the shattered planet uh, Euclides, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Activity in this region is generally unheard of and may be the result of an illegal mining operation. Be on your guard. Okay. Man, this soundtrack is going in. Let's go. something. I'm not sure what it was. Ooh. There you go. These barrage attacks. Oh wow, from behind? Alright. I wonder if you have uh, wing damage too. I, mean, I don't want to find out the hard way, but... <laughs> I'm curious. That's a pretty big thing in uh, Star Fox as well.
Okay, let's take those. Really? God. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it is not easy. It is definitely a little challenging experience here. Is that even blockable? Like, you can't even like aim quick enough to not get hit. That's crazy. Oh my god. That's freaking nuts, dude. Wow. <laughs> Whew. That's tough. I need to figure out a way to kill them. We'll keep playing until we run out of lives, and then I'll stop there. <laughs> Gotta repair. Let's go. Wow, what the heck? I'm not even gonna try to kill these. I'm just gonna go through them. This is much more difficult. <laughs> it's got some challenge to it. Not, not a bad thing, though. Not a bad thing. The Star Fox can be. Depending on what paths you take. So. Alright, let's see if we can beat this boss. Hit him direct hit with that, it seems to do a lot better. You can, but you're not going to be able to aim too well.
Okay, we finally did it. Took a while, but <laughs> I didn't want to give up on it, at least on that on that level. I had to beat that level. Yeah, I figured it wasn't going to be that great of a rank there. All right. Like we've got quite a few more, you know, levels to go there. But uh, I'm gonna stop it here. And um, you know what I'm saying, if you uh, if you want to see more of this game, like I said, you already know what to do. Drop it down in the comments. Let me know. I'll be more than happy to make that happen. So until then, I'm uh, I'm gonna leave it here. And if you like what you saw, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Remember to keep it locked to Snowy Games for all of your indie game, third-party game, tech review coverage. And sometimes Nintendo and retro games thrown in the mix, all right? And once again, huge shout out and a thank you to Miles from Pixel Jam for throwing this my way to uh, check out on the channel, okay? Y'all have a good one. Take care.